Hey everyone, so today I have this nice 1932, A1932 MacBook Air that's in here for repair, and we keep getting this, a software update is required to use this startup disk, and it's constantly, and the customer came in, obviously they can't boot to their device, and they keep getting this boot error every time they try to turn it on. This keeps happening, there's no way around it so far, so <laughs> they keep trying to do it, but if you try to do anything, it just will keep looping here, restart it, keep looping, try to do the update, it'll keep looping. What we want to do is we want to see if we can actually go ahead and do a fix for it. So let's get it, let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we've seen a lot of these models before. Now the only thing is about these models is what? If you know the A1932, these are the MacBook Air. Um, a lot of the newer ones have the hard drive built in. So there's always going to be a problem. There's firmware, there's lots of other things going on there. You can't just remove the drive, do something, update it, whatever you need to do. It doesn't work like that. We just keep getting stuck around here. And it'll keep asking to, to do this over and over and over again. Uh, one good thing that we do see that there is a drive that does exist here. It's, it's trying to boot to it all the time. We have TestOS to see if we can do it as well. I have like a Mojave bootable. Uh, or I have a High Sierra. I tried that. I tried Mojave. I tried all the other ones. It gives me the same issue every single time I try to boot them. Uh, you would think it's since it's asking for a software update that it would need to do an update, right? Maybe it's, it's this is an older OS, then it would need to update to a newer one, at least for the firmware to, to see the new OS. Because I do know on some of these ones, if you have Big Sur, try to do an update, it will just keep trying to uh, uh, loop itself. But this is what happens. Uh, you want to connect to the internet here. And I'll just show you guys because why not, right? You guys want to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to go see if I can even log in. Let's see if I can do the update, right? So you're going to get here. I'm sure if you guys have this problem, you're going to try to do the update. What it's going to try to do is it's going to just stop. It's going to stop here. It keeps trying to do the no error out uh, whenever it does happen. All right. So as you can see, there is an error occurred when installing this update. Uh, it does happen. And obviously the internet isn't connected, but it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. We tried it before. Just tried it many times. Still has the same problem. Now, uh, you can see it'll keep doing it even when you connect to internet. I'll just connect it anyway because it's doing it anyway. But that's not the point. So you go to startup disk, it does the same thing. You do uh, anything else, it'll do the same thing again. But let's turn it off. And what we want to do is try to go to internet recovery mode now because that might be the best way. So the best way to get to there would be you would hold command R. And you've powered on. See that? And now this should go right to internet recovery. Now I do have a big Sur installer. I could do that. I don't know if I want to do that yet because I'm a little bit worried about any type of firmware or problem that's going to have, especially if it has an update from before. I'm just going to be doing this, especially for you guys. Most most of you guys are going to be doing this anyway. So let's just see, show you guys a fix through this this one. And this should actually boot with Command R here. And we see that this the firmware itself has what what's this one? This one's Catalina or Mojave. You guys know? I think it's Mojave. So this looks like it has Mojave. It's a little one there. Let me bring it a little bit closer. And what we want to do is obviously we want to connect to internet now. So let's go connect, make sure. Okay. Now we're here. We're connected to the internet. Now we can install the OS if we need to, but let's go to disk utility. Make sure we actually do see everything here. It's not it's taking a long time to see the disk. It's not great. And we do see if we go to show all devices, we do see that there's an Apple SSD and there's a non-mounted device that's actually encrypted here. Um, you can mount it. If you want, it's going to ask for the password, but, but it's not going to really do much because we still need to do it anyway. Even if you actually exit out here, you can exit quick, quick this utility and you can actually go to startup security utility. And sometimes it does say that you might need um, a Mac password to change any secure boot settings. I already did this before. I don't know why it's showing this this time because I want to show you guys before we did the video, but I'm going to go do this anyway. And there we go. So you can see it's already, there's no security you can boot from external devices. Um, that's that's a typical firmware thing. I think when they uh, did it from Catalina and above, if I'm not mistaken, but we don't care about this. We don't actually care about the data. Now, if you care about the data, um, most likely you're going to be out of luck on this one. I'm not too sure of a way to get data off of something like this at the moment. But right now we're just gonna be focusing on at least getting this thing up and running. Hopefully you guys had uh, iCloud backups before if you have data. Otherwise, let's go ahead and try to wipe and see what it's gonna do from here. So we're just gonna go wipe it. We can go to the hierarchy, which is in the internal, which is the Apple SSD. And we wanna just go ahead and erase it. And let's go ahead and see if it's gonna work now. Um, then we can install obviously the OS. We're gonna be installing this one first, especially if there's a firmware problem. I don't wanna be doing anything outside of the internet recovery first. And especially if there's a password, sometimes you can get activation locked. So before I put Big Sur, before I do anything to update this to the latest one, this one can actually take Monterey. Um, I don't want to do that yet until I make sure that I can at least wipe the drive and install it through 
uh, internet recovery because even when I did run through a Big Sur installer, it was asking me to use um, Command R, which would be get to get to this point and then to remove the password. I don't want to be locked out of this machine because of that. We've had uh, we made other videos about activation locks and other things on this video. Um, if you guys are interested, go ahead and check those out as well. So it looks good, and we have a wipe disk now. So let's go ahead and see if we can reinstall it. So I'm just going to go to the reinstaller and definitely make sure you're connected to the internet. And now we're going back to Mojave, but hey, man, I got to make this thing work. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And let's go ahead and see. I'm going to go try it and see if there's any errors that come up. Hopefully, it'll just go right to the OS I'm really hoping for. And um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to hit install. You're not connected to a power source. That is important. I definitely recommend connecting to <laughs> power source. Let's do that. So let's do it. All right, we'll come back, see if there's any errors. Otherwise, hopefully, it's going to be all good to go. All right, so we're back. It did install. I'm very happy, very pleased. Uh, looks like everything should be fine. Um, I'm going to go through the setup installation just to make sure everything is great. And I don't care about that. I don't have internet, right? No one has internet. That's why the options here. We don't have internet. And we're just going to skip through this. And I want to restart it because that's the most important thing right now. I want to make sure it loads totally fine. And then um, we could probably just upgrade from there. But this, at least I want to make sure this is at least going. So let's go ahead. So we did get to the OS. It looks to be good now, right? We're not waiting for a critical update we're not waiting for anything else let's just always of course because we want to restart i wanted to make sure that this isn't going to have a problem let's go ahead and restart it just to make sure everything else is fine and after that if it looks good it looks good then we can just do an o upgrade to the os if we want so i know we're a little bit far back we have bootable so we can do that from there we have something like this it's like a big sur installer we can do that plug it in it should be works fine but as long as it doesn't ask you for critical update every time but <laughs> so it looks good loading it's much faster right I hope so. On this model, it has integrated SSD in there, so it should be pretty quick. Pretty quick. I didn't say extremely fast. It was a pretty quick. All right, so this is booting. Fine. A basic password here. Okay, we're in. So everything looks to be pretty good. Um, and I guess we'll let the customer know everything went well. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video on uh, fixing the MacBook MacBook Air. This one's a MacBook Air, but pretty much any MacBook that's going to have that critical software update. Um, this is a very lucky situation where uh, the client doesn't need data, and it's it's not just a firmware update, but it's going to be at least an OS install. Usually, those OS installs do include some firmware updates, especially if you're having any type of uh, Big Sur upgrade from um, from Mojave or earlier, or if you're going to Monterey, it's kind of the same thing as well. So, hope you guys have been watching. If you did, please leave us a like. Really, this helps us a lot. Subscribe for more content, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.